wondering if we get a different scene. Well, we did get a different scene. <laughs> Muggles, sailcloth, blindsight, lifeline, a man, reciprocality, faultlessly offered, skimolog, made. Oh, another special poem, okay. Oh, shit, I didn't see it because I skipped, damn it. <laughs> Hey everyone, Zach here, aka Crazy. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Last time, Natsuki completely forgot about whatever it was Yuri said. So that was fun. And then we had more poem sharing and thing. I am so great at improv intros, aren't I? We saw Natsuki had a neck snap. That was pretty fun, wasn't it? We're trying to get ready for the festival, but Natsuki didn't agree with Monica getting new club members. Something like that. Uh, this time, more poems. I'm gonna go with Strawberry, go with Lipstick, Kitty, Question, Extreme. Hope, Heart, Destiny, Portrait, Boop, Kith, Raindrops. Hi Monica, nice to see you down there. <laughs> Uh, breathe. Oh, it's Monica again, okay. Cheeks. Rainbow. Determination! Happiness. Cage. Uh, hi, Yuri. Contamination. Vanilla. Hi, crazy! I've been waiting for you! Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today! Monica, I told you not to- Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Besides MC's pen. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. Maybe one who wears like a bow or something, I don't know. So... Natsuki. Nobody cares. Why don't you go look for some coins on the vending machines or something? I don't think she liked that comment very much. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival, too. Anyway, Crazy, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Ah. Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Crazy is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. I mean, I was also engaged in Parfait Girls, but, you know, whatever. Fuck Natsuki, I guess. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! I, um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. 
To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. What, she doesn't move nearly as crazy as she speaks? Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out the classroom. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go looking for her. Oh, somebody left the music on in the club room. <laughs> I love the sound design here. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the... Wait. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. There, I can read words. I start heading down the hallway. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Kya! I'm back! Thanks for waiting patiently. Crazy, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle at 200 degrees. Now it's time to get to the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? Hoo-hoo. Remember when I was an owl? Wasn't that fun? In that, in that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around, anyway. Ah. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, crazy. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't, even f I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Crazy, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Oh, why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Yeah... My... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes! I have terrible reading posture, so that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Tea and chocolate, really interesting. Yuri and I then sit against, sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. Don't get weird, MC. I can't see too well. I'm blind. I'm an owl, after all. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute. Yeah, always. But when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a damn thing. 
She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, uh, that's... that's okay. I won't take any. Are, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. God, I'm stupid. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? I'm starting to, like, see things that aren't there now. This Look what this game has done to me. <laughs> Are you sure? Of course. Like, I'm seeing, like, Monica, like, suddenly, like, flashback there. I don't know. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips, as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. <sighs> Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... Crazy... Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah... Uh... Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't... Crazy... Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. No, not the teacup! Crazy... My heart... My heart won't stop pounding, Crazy. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Crazy? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Um, it's time to share poems. God, I love the scares in this game. <laughs> I know this might be annoying to some people because I'm just like going on about how I love the scares, but Jesus Christ, it's... I still got goosebumps from that. All right, what does Monica say? Crazy, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. Is the sharp knife sharp? I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be so shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's, uh, 
effective. Here goes. Jeez, that really startled me. Um... Well, I guess I kind of messed up at, uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. That happens if you're in full screen. If you're not in full screen, it's just those color bars that you saw beforehand. Uh, let's see what Natsuki says. This one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri, I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strangely lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Ooh, cupcakes. Just please, try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so remarkable. Can you hear me, crazy? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica! Who should I show my poem to next? Well, considering my options, uh, let's go with Yuri. Finally! <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it! I love everything about it! Crazy, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I, I don't care, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Crazy. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? Um, it's not bad, right? Well, Yuri, heard, Yuri holds my poem to her chest. Yuri herds a bunch of cattle there. H herds some cattle, that's, that's the word, I don't know. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin model enters my bloodstream. Hey, don't give me a boner right now. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it! Well, I can't read this. Uh, contrary to what you might think, uh, this poem is 
not entirely gibberish. There are some sources that will tell you like what the poem actually is. I mean, I'm not I'm not even going to bother trying to read it, but if you know anything about Doki Doki Literature Club, I'm sure you've seen YouTubers like talk about like what this means and what the meaning of this poem is. Uh, so if you're curious, I'd definitely recommend checking that out. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I just the most thoughtful person in the club? I... I think I'm going to vomit. Hmm, what do we got here? Interesting poem. Hey, so I'm coming at you in post while editing this because I had something that I really wanted to show you guys. You'll notice that during Act 2 I didn't take any routes. This is because the way the game works, even if you try to pander to Natsuki, you end up forced down Yuri's route anyway. However, if you don't pander to Natsuki and you go to Yuri all three times, you get a special scene on the third day. So at first what happens is you get a repeat of the scene where Yuri goes out into the hallway to make tea, you find her cutting herself, then after time reverses and you go back to the club room again, this happens. Anyway, we're back. Uh, what? Ah! Um... Wait, how did I... Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. Oh, you too, huh? This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean... Everyone has a few unusual things about them. Who turned out the lights? But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate. Or unlikable. At least, that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies, and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. For you, crazy. <laughs> like it's going to rip out my chest. It overwhelms me with, ener with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Crazy. Is it just me? Or has Monica been acting a little off lately? Yes, Monica's the one who's been acting off. I mean, well, I mean, she is one who's been acting off, but not the only one. She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? No, I'm crazy. Although, your eyes are definitely crazy at this very moment. Please tell me I'm not... I couldn't say anything before, because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone! Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. Oh god. Oh no. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us! We can stay here until the club ends, and then we'll have the club room all to ourselves! Nobody to interfere with our reading time! Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat! <laughs> That was a joke! Yeah, funny joke, Yuri. <laughs> Just a joke, yep, it's, it's a very funny joke. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I, I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. Yeah, I've gotten them from all various artisans. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody! And that's why I'm so happy you joined the Literature Cup, Crazy. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. 
because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore, who subsequently just happens to be phasing into the foreground here. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together. Eat together. Sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we could meet each other. And now we get a happy ending that we've paged the way into years for. Will you do that with me, crazy? Will you give you Fucking hell. <laughs> and for that matter, if all three of your poems pander to Yuri, and you try to show your poem to Monica, she says this. Don't say I didn't warn you, crazy. Fuck. Yeah, as you could tell, I was a lot more scared by the game back in 2021 than I am now. <laughs> Yeah, I just really wanted to show that because I think that the scene with Natsuki and her neck snap kind of overshadows it, and I get it, but I also think that that scene was really great. Oh, and if you're wondering why I showed you old footage from 2021 instead of footage from my 2024 playthrough for that scene, well... But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around me. Like a narf? Like a knife? <laughs> like, like a narf, goddammit. <laughs> Well, I just ruined this scene. Yeah, let's just say I liked it better the first time. <laughs> yeah, I just yeah, I just wanted to show that real quick. Uh, I think this is a good place to end the episode. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. We'll see y'all next time. Take care.